Hey everyone, I thought I'd put up a video today of some of my own synths, specifically my full voice here, which I've had for about six months. I'm gonna try to hook it up today to this CV MIDI controller, the Roland MPU-101. <laughs> When they released the full voice, it didn't have any external control, so you couldn't control it over CV or gate, obviously not MIDI, because it's way before MIDI. But mine's had a couple of holes drilled in the top of each sem here. You see this? Three holes above each sem. I don't know what those holes are for, because when I bought it off the guy, he didn't know. I think they're probably inputs for CV gate and an expression pedal, which means someone has converted this to be able to receive CV and gate signals. Now, I'm, I'm not sure because nothing's labeled. They're just three mini jack holes in the top of each sem. But that seems to me like what it might be. And I'm really hoping it is because then I can uh, maybe, if it all works, use a CV MIDI converter and hook my four voice up to my MIDI chain and control it with my door. So that's what we're going to find out today. So this is the Roland MPU 101. It's the CV to MIDI converter from 1984. You can tell it's got the same styling as Roland's MKS range of synths, rack mount synths, such as the MKS-80, the Super Jupiter. A friend of mine who has a four voice said, this is the MIDI to CV interface that you need to control one because it sends out four separate CV and gate signals. I found one in Italy a few months ago, but I could never get the guy to send it to me here in France. And then this week I found one in France. It's not super expensive, but, but hard to find because they're 30, 40 years old now. Okay, we turned everything on and the four voice is making nice noises. The way it's set up right now is to cycle through the SEMs every time you hit a different key. So you can see it's going to play SEM 3 now, I think. So the road light comes on. SEM 4. SEM 1. SEM 2. They're all a little out of tune because with the uh, four voice you have to tune both the oscillators for each of the SEMs pretty much every time you use it just to keep it all in, in tune. It's a bit of a faff, but it's also quite fun to do. So this should play. A kind of big fat <laughs> detuned out of tune chord. Right, so that works uh, nicely. Now let's see if we can use the MP101 to control each of those SAMs and how that works. Okay, I've tuned the oscillators a bit and I've set it to unison mode. hook up the MPU-101. By the looks of this, you just set the MIDI channel here. I've got the manual, which is nice, though I haven't read it, which is typical. A little bit of smuts on the buttons there. Bit of spit, get rid of that. Now, I assume that if I stick this on mono mode and plug, so CV out, these aren't labeled. So I'm just gonna assume that whoever did the mod, assuming it is the right mod, went CV gate expression, because that's what I would have done. Gate there, into there. Let's see if we can get a note out of it. Ooh. Works. Feels like it's a little shot. I like it. it does. I love this that. So a tune on here, it's also got an octave. Um, so in theory, this seems to be working. We'll play the C there on my mother keyboard, and we'll play the C here, the top of my lights on, and I can see that the tune on my door so it's super. Okay, success. Um, let's hook up the other four sends. Oh, 
Okay, so that is CV and gate coming out of four channels on the MPU, going into the four holes on the top of the SEMS. I've left a third expression because, um, I mean, that would be for an expression pedal or possibly a mod wheel. They do have dynamics outs on the MPU, so I guess that, that could be used, but it's, it's less essential. So this, I guess, will set from mono mode, we'll set it to four voice. And then there's an assign mode here, which I assume decides how it, it spits out the signal. Let's put it on assign mode one. We'll try, the transpose was on low. Let's put it on mid. Let's see what happens now. So first sound is still working and there's a chin. Okay, just the first, but if I play a chord. Success, okay. So at the moment, the assign mode, I think, controls whether it's going to cycle through the set, the, the outputs every time you hit a key, or whether it's going to always play the first sound with the first key, like that, and then it's going to wait, and when you play the second key, it's going to play the second sound. So what? What I would really like it to do is cycle through, because I love this effect you get with the Oberheim where it will play each sim in turn. You can put an arpeggio in it and it will just play the four different sims and you can have them set up to, to so they sound slightly different or even they're tuned different and it's beautiful. So let's see what assign mode two does. Uh, okay, so that still plays the same sim. Okay, so assign mode two, it looks like it has decided beforehand which notes will trigger which sounds. So for instance, this is always, this is a, um, a G and it's always going to uh, trigger the second sound. Thing, but um, not what I want. Sign mode three. Uh, okay, perfect. So that is now. That's triggering, it's sending out a different, uh, uh, a signal on a different output every time you hit the thing. I don't know whether you can see the buttons, the red lights on the top of the MPU, but if I hit it, it's got a little button, it's got a little light that lights up to say which output's being used, and it just goes through them one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is great. So that works, amazingly. It just goes to show this is a 40-year-old synth. This is a 40-year-old box. This is a 45-year-old synth. And they both still work. I mean, they work straight out the box. This mod that someone's done to the four voice, and they've done it beautifully. They haven't had to drill into the face plates. This is extremely discreet. It doesn't look like it, it bothers the, um, the aesthetics at all. And it works fantastically. So now I can sequence my uh, full voice with my door. For instance, I could throw an arpeggio into it. <laughs> 